In this video, we are going to still look at the sum of an arithmetic series. You will find this on page 58 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. An arithmetic series has first term negative 91 and common difference 6. Given that the arithmetic progression has three times as many positive terms as it has negative terms, find the total number of terms in the progression. So calculate the number of negative terms. So Tn must be smaller than 0. Okay, so I fill it in and I get that then n, so if I simplify it, I divide that by 6, n must be smaller than 16.2. So therefore, n is 16. There are, there are 16 negative terms. There are 3 times as many positive terms. So 3 times 16 will then be 48. So the total number of terms is the negative ones, the 16s, plus the positive ones, 48, and it will be 64 terms. Wow, interesting sum. The sum of the positive terms. So sum of the positive terms is the total sum minus the negative sum. Okay, so the total sum is 64. The negative is 16. And if we subtract that, we get 7008. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, this is actually an easier one. This is a nice, interesting one. In an arithmetic progression, A, they give you A, they give you D, find the smallest value of N su such that SN is bigger than 0. So it's now not TN, it's SN, the sum. So I'm going to just start with that. But let's just first write all the information down. So A is negative 23, D is 2.5. Find the smallest, okay, value, and don't forget that Sn equals N over 2, 2A plus bracket N minus 1, D. Okay, so I start with the statement, Sn is bigger than zero. So I fill it in. So in the place of n, so uh, in a, find the smallest value of n. I don't know n. So n over 2, but I know a. And that's negative 23. I don't know n, but I know d. And that's 2.5. I can also put the d in front. Sometimes I put it in front. So it's n over 2. So it's negative 46 plus 2.5n minus 2.5 is bigger than 0. Okay, so this is one term, actually the 2. So if you cross multiply that 2, multiply 0, it will just be 0. So basically this 2 will become 0. So I sit with n. If I simplify this 2, I get 40. 8.5 plus 2.5 n is bigger than 0. Don't multiply it out because it's already factorized. So I just go n is bigger than 0 or negative 48.5 plus 2.5 n is bigger than 0. So n is bigger than 0 or if I simplify this, it's the 2.5 n is bigger than 48.5. And if I divide, divide, I get n is going to be bigger than 19. I simplify 19.4. So, therefore, if it's bigger, so the first one, the first whole number that's bigger is 20. So, therefore, n is 20. So, and I can end up by saying 20 terms will give a sum, let's just move it up a little bit, sum 
bigger than zero point. Okay, and that's how you do it.